This question is from Andrew Cook. Uh, Andrew wants Adam to take a plate and eat some crow. There's been a couple oh, questions like this uh, that read, when will Adam admit that he was wrong about Montreal being overrated? We're six games in. What? And I also picked them to make the playoffs. But when, when everybody was hype on Montreal, you came on here and you said- I said, I'm not sold. You That's said, all I said. That, so everybody's asking, is Adam sold? No. They <laughs> no, played six man. fucking games, guys. Okay. What am I going to try game How many games? 40, 50. Are you kidding me? They finished 24th last year. Or sorry, 23rd. 23rd. And no, then it was they 24th. Played, was it 24th? Oh, it was the, even the Blackhawks were ahead of them last year. Pump the brakes. I still think they're going to make the playoffs. And they do look like a much improved team. I mean, really. Yeah, like, of course they do. They look great. They do. So, so was the I hype them to make the was playoffs. the hype warranted? The hype is we don't know. <laughs> Come on, E. Crow, six games. You're a Montreal Canadiens fan. Your your standards got to be better than six games, man. You got You have twenty six cups or whatever it is, twenty five. Like you got to have a higher standard than six yeah. games to get some guy from Toronto to admit, oh, the hype was real. Come on. Funny, I'm I'm looking at I'm looking at. Uh, their season so far. So they got a 5-4 overtime game, a 5-1 win, 3-1 win, 6-5 shootout loss, 7-3 win, and a 5-2 win. And I'm like, boy, that reminds me a lot of how the Leafs win games. And now the Leafs are 5-2. and two. They have an excellent record, but they're not scoring as much. And people are upset about it. Mm-hmm. It's Listen, you, I'm not you upset need about to it. see more teams. <laughs> no, you're not. But a lot of people, ah, they just don't seem right. And I'm like, this is the best they've looked defensively in five years. What are you talking about? Um, I just feel like you need to see more. And like again, I said second week of um, I said second week of February. We're still not gonna know uh what the Habs are made of because they got a few days off, then they gotta play two games against Calgary, and then they're right back to play in Vancouver again. They're not gonna see and their Vancouver's fourth team been- of the this- Vancouver's been bad. They've been booty. That's They're a, not going to see a, their fifth team of the season until February 4th when they play. We had three Sims. shows this week. Vancouver would be uh, a big, big chunk of one of them. I hope we can make time for Vancouver and Thursday show because there's a lot going on. And maybe that maybe that changes this week with Vancouver's games, but I don't know. Um, let me Next just question. throw this at you, too, with Montreal as it pertains to Montreal. Um, uh, they, to me, look like the most improved team this year in the NHL without question. Uh, but the thing is, not good. what they haven't seen is any injuries. And I think you're going to see it. The, the Leafs have already seen it. There's other teams that have seen it. I'm not seeing big injuries out of Montreal. Good. That's a good thing. But you really do get to kind of test the metal of a team when some big players do go down. So I'd like to see what exactly they have depth-wise. I've got people on my Twitter mentioned saying, well, look at Montreal's depth. What are you talking about? Their, their best players are playing. What are you talking about? Scory Perry, he got in the lineup and then he scored. Yeah, it's in his name. Yeah, E. Crow, and he, and he was on uh, E. Crow, and he was on waivers the week before. Is there something? When I'm, are you gonna? When are you gonna apologize for calling him the worst player in the league? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Well, listen. Why don't you believe? We all know Corey Perry wanted to come to Toronto. We do know that. We so don't know that. We we kind of think that. he's in his favorite city. Sure. Uh, next question comes from Sean Red. Why is Jimmy VC in the top six? I don't understand why people are hating on him. Yeah. Like, things are going you know, well. It doesn't scream top-line player, Jimmy. Jimmy no. VC is what you want Tyler Ennis to be. Wow. Younger, better, and probably more consistent. Jimmy VC's it. By the way, outside of last year, look at Jimmy VC's stats. The guy's an 18-goal scorer. And you laugh Which, at that. 18 goals is not a joke. It's okay. It's Listen, can you be big and in front of the net? And if I give you a wide-open opportunity, can you bury it? He's had two wide open opportunities. He's buried both. Mm-hmm. So that's good. He had a great screen, a Daryl Boyce assist um, on the Matthews goal. Ended up being the ga- – or no, that was the Muzzin goal, sorry. Uh, so first goal of the game. Uh, he kills penalties a little bit. Like, no, he's not a superstar for sure. But, like, considering what's happened to the Leafs' left side, he's doing his job. Depth, I'm not going to hate on him until he's not doing his job anymore. You needed somebody with some finish on the third line that could jump into the first or second due to an injury, and look what you have. Yeah, he can – I mean, he's not as fast as Ilya Mikheyev, but he's got a better shot. Like, oh, my God, if Mikheyev could just shoot. 
if he could shoot, yes, I'd be right there with you offering to drive VC, you know, somewhere, anywhere, but the top two lines. So I can yeah. put McKay up there, but oh Can't my you? God. Oh my God. McKay was driving me nuts, man. <laughs> uh, last question, Jess. Uh, last question. Uh, will Adam say something nice about the Montreal Canadiens? Oh, wait, we already covered that. I was like, uh, Oh, wait, here's, Adam. A, here's another question. When will Adam admit the Canadians are good? Oh, here's another question. Uh, tell Adam the Habs are great. Uh, do you want more questions? Man, I wasn't the... I, does Down Goes Brown get this kind of shit? Because he wrote an entire article for a publication about this. Here's the For difference. The Athletic. Here's the difference. I don't think he cares. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Man, what, were we wrong uh, to, be spe- to speculate that a team that finished 24th last year... Don't say we. <laughs> Who's we? I don't know yeah, who we is. Are you talking well, about? Me and my Adam, people. Are you French? My people. Who's we? Who's? I don't know. Wow. Why? Were you guys out here waving the Canadians flag going, they're going to win? We didn't come in here with an agenda. Jesse, you didn't even make the predictions because I forgot to ask. <laughs> so I don't even know where you stand on this. You can't play this oh, game. No. Uh, oh. for, the, for the last question, can you do, uh, Steve, can you do a breakdown on why the Leafs don't have a goalie controversy? Because we did get a lot of questions about how uh, great Campbell looked. Yeah. And you know who else has looked great uh, is Frederick Anderson. Isn't it great? Isn't it, do we not know how to handle having two good goalies? Do we no. forget? No, like, no, is no Curtis idea. McElhaney a thing of the past? Like, we, we, we forgot all about that. Like, it was two seasons of Hutchinson being brutal and Garrett Sparks being also brutal. It was just before that McElhaney gave the Leafs all the saves we wanted, or at very least a chance to win mm. every single night. Jack Campbell's doing that for the Leafs. Super worth it trade so far. And Freddie Anderson in the games he's played, listen, rough first two games, Mm -hmm. rough first Mm -hmm. two games. Outside of those first two games, the Leafs haven't had game three, game four, game five, game six, game seven. Five straight games of good goaltending. Jack played two, Fred played three. It's good stuff. It's good stuff, guys. This is not a bad situation. Please stop making it into one. It's a goalie controversy if Freddie consistently plays like ass and Jack consistently plays good. If they're both bad, it's not a controversy. It's a problem. So and if they're both good, then it's just good. It's not a controversy. It's just good. 